Hi, it is Marie and I am back again today with another video and today I wanted to make a video geared towards cerebral palsy. I've been making a lot just in the general area of disabilities. Um, so today I wanted to talk about fine motor skills. A lot of the time when I'm talking to people about my CP, I spend a lot of the time talking about how it affects my legs. Um, and in all reality though, I find that cerebral palsy um, poses more of an impediment on my daily life, my daily life <laughs> with the trouble it imposes um, on my fine motor skills. Uh, so fine motor skills are the skills that require the little movements of your wrist, the little movements of your hand. Um, so for instance, I have trouble with writing. I have trouble with folding paper fabrics. I have trouble um, with stapling papers together. I have trouble typing. I have trouble driving. I choose not to drive. Um, it's just a choice I've made just to make the world a little bit more safer. Um, I, when I was a child, I had trouble zipping my coat. I had trouble tying my shoes. Um, and so, so because those are all daily tasks people expect you to know how to do, you, you kind of lose credibility and this is why I say that it has more of an impact on my daily life. Um, because you know, when you see a 19, 20 year old who can't staple papers together or can't cut something even or can't fold something even. Uh, like, what are you going to think of them? It, you you kind of lose credibility in that sense. Um, and so it's, it's, it's a struggle that I've had to, had to overcome. Um, still kind of overcoming it. And I'm still rather self-conscious about doing those tasks in front of people. Um, but anyways, um, so my advice to anyone with CP who has trouble with their fine motor skills or just any parent of a child who has CP is first of all don't don't do everything for your child um, I said I had trouble learning how to tie my shoes and zipping my coat um, well that's because um, until the age of nine people used to zip my coat and tie my shoes for me Having trouble with fine motor skills does not mean that someone shouldn't do them or someone can't do them. What it takes is just practice and patience. Patience is key. Um, for myself, um, I find myself still to this day getting frustrated at myself and I just sometimes have to take a breather and then come back to it. Um, so. Um, it just patience is key. Um, just keep practicing. Practice is also key. Um, and I'm going to go. Uh, so I will see you in the next video.